Uh, disappointing, you know, I thought, um, you know, I hope we were uh, further along. Uh, I knew this would be a good test for us, no matter what people said. They're, they're a very senior laden football team and play extremely hard and are well coached. And their, their quarterback played lights out in the first half. And, um, and the, the positive that I guess if we can take anything from it is that our defense, I thought, really, really improved as the game went on um, in the second half and gave us chances. Um, you know, their special teams played really well in the third quarter and kept us pinned. And, um, but you cannot turn the ball over five times and expect to beat really anybody. And um, we never got in any kind of sync offensively. And that's, that's uh, very disappointing and uh, frustrating um, to me. And it rests with me. And I've got to figure that out for us. Coach, with a, a little bit over six and a half minutes left to go in the game and down two scores, it looked like you, was, you guys were getting way deep into the play clock and showed no hurry up. Was there a communication problem with that, or did you guys feel like you still had plenty of time? Yeah, I'd have to go back and see. I can't remember that. I thought we uh, you know, started going pretty fast um, with about that those possessions. And now, when it got down toward the red zone, it was – you know, we had some checks going on that we were trying to get in the right play because of their different fronts that they play, and that probably used too much time. After what seemed to be a really good week one performance for Peyton, struggled tonight with the with the four interceptions. What's the game plan moving forward for for him, the quarterback situation, and and with SEC play looming large? Well, I'll have to watch the film first before I, I really say. I mean, we struggled to protect him tonight a lot. We had guys running wide open and uh, really struggled to protect. And it hurt when, you know, too tall got banged up and he tried to go and he couldn't. And um, so we struggled to protect him some. Um, so I'd rather watch the film and then talk about it Monday on, on exactly his play and at quarterback. You just the offense in general, was that, was that the most disappointing thing? Was that it was a combination of, of uh, protections, but what about uh, kind of decision making? Some of those things from receivers, quarterbacks as well. Um, you know, like the last one. You know, he was expecting um, Dre to run a, a bang post, and he was going to put it on him. And so, you know, that's something that we've got to get cleaned up. Um, that that really should have been the route, and um, and pin him with it. But uh, the one, the possession before where we had a chance with two minutes left, and you know, I couldn't tell. And that's why I really want to watch the film. I couldn't tell if the ball was left inside or if Cam got – Cam was hurting and needed to get him out, but the clock was running. And um, I don't – I wish we could have gone to the other side, but I don't think he – Peyton had no idea that he was hurting. And he kind of lost on the release. And, 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 again, I'd like to watch the film before I comment too much on it. Coach, you said earlier in the week you expected Cal to load the box and really come after the run and force Peyton to throw the ball. Uh, what did you see about what they were doing there on defense? And you know, what was the game plan to try to attack, attack what they were trying to do? They did a great job of mixing it up. They really did of, um, of bringing pressure, loading the box, playing coverage. Um, they did a really nice job of, of, of mixing it all up and, and kind of kept us guessing. And you give them credit for that. Um, so they, they did a really nice job of that. And it was a mixture. It wasn't just one thing. You know, I thought we were running the ball fairly effective um, at the beginning of the second half, but we just never could get in any kind of rhythm or you tried to mix it up between run and pass and we get a sack and put us in third and long. And so it's just a disappointing day for, um, for us for sure in our, in our building here. And, it's not, uh, it's not the expectation of the way we should play offensive football. You talked about the defense. You had a, a bunch of freshmen. And Malik was out there. And then just talk about the, the, play, the game that Keldrick had. Yeah, Keldrick is one of the best leaders we have. And he plays his heart out. And he's one of the guys you can count on when things get tough to, to hang in there and look for the right way out of it. And he's a, he's a really good leader and a really good young kid and obviously a very good player. 
and all those younger kids that we're depending on for our future here are, are watching him for sure. And uh, he's a good one to watch.